pray against pile. You know pile? Yes, sir. Pray against pile. Yes, sir. Each time you go to the toilet, you find it difficult to deliver. Yes, sir. And it gives you chronic waist pain. Yes, sir. Pray against it, okay? It's a common trend in the male side. My name is Dr. Heladi Haruna. I based in Abuja, but I'm from Borno State. I received the word of prophecy from the man of God, and he did say that I should pray against pile and also West Bend. And I can confirm that to be true because uh, sometimes when I come home due to the nature of my work, I used to have this uh, kind of West Bend. So usually I thought it's something that I just attributed to my work, but um, I didn't know that it's something much more than that. And also the pile, yes, uh, sometimes I find it difficult, though it's not always, but sometimes I find it difficult, you know, to, well, I'm um, difficult. I believe that through the word of this prophecy, by the grace of God, I'm completely fine and I'm healed and I give all glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself, tell us your name, who are the people next to you, and explain how it all happened. I think it was last Sunday, isn't it? Eh? Last Sunday, okay, uh -huh. go ahead. All right, um, my name is Engineer Heladi Haruna. Uh, okay, my name is Engineer Heladi Haruna. Uh, beside me is my wife, Hawa Heladi, and also my elder brother, Mr. Marcus Haruna. Last week, I received the word of prophecy that I should pray against uh, Pile and West Pain. And of an honest truth, I confirm that to be very true. Usually before now, due to the nature of what I do and my work, I usually attribute it to probably the nature of what I do. But uh, I didn't know that it's quite much more than that. So when I came last week, I joined the, I was privileged to be in the prayer line and I received the prophecy. After the prayer, how do you feel within you? I, I feel better. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm strong. And glory to God. That is it. Grandma has said it all. I feel better. I feel okay. Glory to God. When good health comes, that is it. I will thank God. Because what was going to happen to you would have been very terrible if not for that prophecy and deliverance. Uh -huh. What word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? Well, one of the things that my word of advice to everybody is, I believe uh, recently when I was in the church, you said something, you said everyone needs deliverance. And I believe that to be true. Um, everyone, if you're having one or two challenges, locate a living church, just like I located mine here. And yes, you receive your deliverance. <laughs> By the way, I have something I wanted to share. Okay. Yes. Uh, I tried telling them that they, you know, last Sunday you preached and you said, Evil is one of the things that also give free advert to good. Mm. Yes. So, in fact, even when we are seated, I was lamenting with my wife. Since I was married, like, over five to six years right now, I didn't go to prayer, I mean, like, churches on purpose. So, I was telling her, I said, you know, it's God that brought us here. Because for that six years, like we got married today, we did our Thanksgiving the following day, we've never been to church again as a couple. I have been to a few churches, she have gone to a few churches, but the only time I go maybe to have a program in a church, I've also been to mocks for programs, but uh, early this year, I traveled, I was sitting in my hotel, and I saw an ad, I mean, all these status of people, you know, castigating uh, the late prophet T.B. Joshua. And I was seeing the scandal. I said, wow, that's it. Speak louder. Speak louder. OK. <laughs> so I was. I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So early this year, I traveled. So while I was just uh, while away some time in my hotel, I saw on people's status uh, some advert things about Prophet T.B. Jeshua. And that's led Prophet T.B. Jeshua. 
And I said, wow, that's it, probably. Maybe that just reaffirmed the fact that maybe why I should not even be going to... Hey, <laughs> Jesus, so, so you believe what you are saying? Yeah, I actually, so before I learned, now, when I saw it, I said, well, yes, um, maybe it's true, but uh, because of also my background, yes. I am trained not to just take things for just what I, so especially, mm. yes, so I decided, I said, I want to go and do my personal investigation mm. to dig deeper. Clap so for Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus Christ. That is how it's supposed to be. Don't go here. He's a criminal. He's Satan. Is demon and put your finger across and just believe. Go and make your personal investigation. The church is open there. It's not far. Just take a flight. Lagos, you get that day. They welcome you. They'll give you a special seat. In fact, that place is like paradise. You can sit down and watch. And watch. And watch. I'm 100% sure within 30 minutes, you draw your conclusion. But you're not going there and find out. You'll just be going by hearsay, hearsay. It means <laughs> ignorance is not, a, is not a, an excuse. When those who are the mastermind of those things, begin to pay for it. You also will share from it. The only thing that can rescue you is to go and find out the truth. So that the truth, the truth will do what? Clap for Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, go ahead, I'm hearing you. Okay, so thank you. And so I decided on my own to do a personal study about the life of the man. Hmm. Because of the life of who? Mention his name. That's the, the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Uh -huh. Because oftentimes, uh, I've seen many situations like that where people say things about other people, but they have interest hmm. in their heart. So I, when I started, I saw so many replay videos. And I think for me, that's why I also appreciate the fact that the church here keep a uh, record of literally many things. Because without some of those uh, records, it will have been very difficult for someone, even like me, to believe that he wasn't guilty, especially after watching the part one, part two, and part three of that video. Love for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can you see why those days, my mentor, blessed memory, Prophet TV Joshua, never joked with records? You can see the evidence of those records today. He had what he said. He said, going by that record, you, know, they package that. you know, the devil is very deceptive. Package part one, part two, part three. Without going there, without making your findings, seeing some records, without investigating those records, you will not know. You will be convinced. But those evil that came around the goodness of Prophet TV Joshua made him more popular, even in the grave. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, my brother. So um, when I saw that, I started going on Facebook and also on YouTube, and I see people saying some things. And I think that was when I also saw you released a video, and um, uh, Wiseman John Chi, or yes, something like that. Yeah, uh, released we are another. Five. Yes. Let me mention their name. <laughs> Wiseman Rasin, John Chi, Harry, Christopher, and this boy you see here. So that is it. Uh -huh. Go ahead. So um, when I did that, I was deeply convinced. I said, well, I know that, in fact, out of every 12, there's always a Judas. Clap for Jesus Christ. Oh, I will not give you a hand. Don't give me a high five. Let me do it this way. Mm. Another one. Mm. Another one. Mm. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You heard it? Out of 12, that must be what? Think about that word for just two minutes. It's food for thought. Yeah, if out of 12, that must be Judas, why are you not crying that people hate you? People, are, people around you are not loyal to you. People around you are spy. People around you are misbehaving. People around you don't appreciate you. After eating, from your generous hands, they turn their back against you. Why are you complaining? When the Bible says, out of 12, that is Judas Iscariot. Unless what you are doing is not of God. If it's of God, there must be Judas. That is it. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. So I, I think I got some facts, I got some links, and uh, for the first time, I became an evangelist. 
Clap for so, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I started, I started reaching out to even some men of God and some people on the internet, especially that have contrary opinion and some people that have other opinion. And because I document the links in such a way that by the time you watch the first, the second, the third, it will also give you new perspective. You'll hmm. be able to understand. Clap for Jesus Christ. What is my deduction here? Those who would fight for you in the course of your goodness, which you persisted in doing without wavering or being shaken by evil around, may not have met you one on one. Have you ever seen TV Joshua before one on one? No, no, no. no Love for Jesus that. Christ. <laughs> upon investigation of the truth about blessed memory, Prophet TV Joshua, he took it upon himself to start evangelizing. It means if he's a radical one, if he's a radical one, for you to know the danger in saying something wrong against somebody God has ordained. If he's a radical one, he can do an undo when he sees those people. But being a child of God, he will leave judgment for God. You see? He said he started evangelizing about somebody he has never met before. But because this truth about that person stood for that person, even in the grave. When you are good, you'll be good forever. Yeah. Your goodness will speak for you even beyond the grave. That's what is happening to my mentor now. See? Never met TV Joshua one on one. When I do the four that ate with him, I don't want blasphemy. Slept with him, I don't want blasphemy. Slept in the same house, under the same roof, under the, ate his food, drank his water, slept under his roof. I don't want blasphemy. Whereas somebody who has never met him before is championing the cause of truth. Unless that finger did not feed you. Unless you do not sleep under the roof of that finger. Unless you do not drink the water of that finger, eat his food, drink his water, eat his salt, eat sleep. If the goodness is forever, that goodness will speak against you on the last day. The goodness you are speaking evil against, you tested that goodness for 15 years, you didn't come out to cry. When you stayed around, your evil did not overcome. You did not give you what you want. You left after 15 years, 10 years, 11 years, the same good, goodness you are under for 15 years became bad just within a day. Whereas 15 years you were eating from that goodness. You didn't complain that goodness was bad. You were sleeping under the roof of that goodness. You didn't complain that goodness was bad. But within a few days, the goodness of 15 years became bad to you. Unless you didn't taste of that goodness. It's a matter of time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, thank you. In fact, just to... I yeah, found what you said. I come from an orthodox background that don't even. I remember when we were growing up, they used to warn us against TB Joshua. So he is likely one of the person that in my whole life I would have probably wanted to know anything about him. But that research made him now, made me to know him even more. And I remember sending some links to someone on the internet, and he went based on that links, those links I sent. He did a new video and made some posts. So out I of your conviction, about the truth, more people are convinced by your record. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Please, I want to see my brother after service. Very important. Thank you very much for standing for the truth. What does it take him to say, no, I'm not of the same this thing? Please, to her. I'm not interested. But he took it upon himself. Advertising for that goodness. If your goodness does not face temptation from evil. It is not genuine. It is that evil that is the tester that will test it. Pa, oh, this is real goodness. Pa, just like you, he tests current. Ah, this is high voltage. 20 kV, 20 kVA, 30 kVA, 10 amps, 20 amps. That tester is the evil confirming whether you are good. So thank you very much. Glad for Jesus Christ. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. What advice do you have for all who are listening? Yes, just like I said, um, if you're going through any challenge, besides, you don't even have to go through any challenge before you look at the living church. Be an ambassador of Christ. Uh, look for any living church where your faith will be built and you'll be built as a person and stick to that place. Amen. Evangelists, God bless you. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Maybe she's your wife, right? Yes. She has two things to say concerning. Uh, what you have said. Introduce yourself. Elohim. 
My name is Hawa Heladi. The man standing next to me is my husband, and the one next to him is his elder brother. Um, so what my husband said is, I is perfectly true. I remember that when my husband every night would go through his phones, checking and searching about everything that has to do with um, TPJ Shua online. And there were days when my husband would sleep while listening to his messages and um, all that. So I. Okay, now come to the prophecy he received. What do you have to say? Okay, I. How much you look at him before you talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, talk. I know that my husband is a public speaker, and the fact that he normally speaks for a um, long uh, time, and the worst pain, I, I can attest to that that is true, yes. But after his deliverance, do you see experience in complaining of the waste? No, no, no. Clap for Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Is that all? That's all. Eh? Ah, okay. And then the wife, the same day, this, speak louder, push your mouth and talk. It was a family testimony um, prophecy. Uh -huh. The same day they came, the husband got a prophecy, the wife got a prophecy. The eldest brother got a prophecy, and also someone who is not here in our midst also got a prophecy. Can you imagine? Were, were they standing in the same place? Were you standing on the same row? Okay, yes. Maybe but, one, two, three? Yes, yes, yes. You were standing together? Yes, sir. Because me, I'm surprised. How come after this one, the next, the next? Is it possible to see how it happened? Is supposed to see the raw? Let's see how they were standing. For you to know that when God wants to visit you as a family, He will visit you all. Oh, yes. Which I'm surprised. Ah, just imagine. This is the brother, this is the wife, this is the other brother. Just after this one, this one, this one, and God settled their case or their cases. That same. The same Sunday. Eh? The same Sunday. Same Sunday. Huh? Was it last Sunday? Yes, sir. Would you respect? Can you just stand up? Sorry, would you respect? Stand up. This is the gentleman. This is the wife. This is the... Brother. Your brother. Alan, there's another person? Yes. Who? That's my brother. But he's not here? Yes. Okay, maybe he's engaged somewhere. Yes. Immediately that brother. It means immediately he gave to the brother, the wife, the other brother, and immediately that brother. The question is, why? Why can't it just be only him? Because sometimes God may do it that way. Now you savvy. So it means, it means that it was decreed that freedom must come to that family that day. Sit down, sir, with due respect. Are you, do you understand what he's saying? It is decreed that freedom must come to that family that what? That day. It was decreed from above. That every member of the family that attended the church service that day must be free. You are going to hear the prophecy the wife received soon, and the one the elder brother too received. For you to know that this God will serve. Like I told you, thank you very much. Don't kill yourself over what you don't understand. It is true that what you don't understand, you call names. What you understand, you destroy. At the same time, there is no competition in destiny. What is yours? No matter what comes, no matter what happens, will be yours. What is mine is mine. And there's no way your destiny can swap position with mine. It's not possible. It's not possible. <laughs> Let's watch. Uh -huh. Mission sure coming holistic. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And you use a pin here. Yes. So that you move as if there's a baby there. Yes, sir. I pray you will not be a man. I know I'm saying this. I pray you will not be a man. You are a woman. But what is coming now will make you a man. 
，一百，开，开，装进去。Mighty Lord Jesus Christ. It will, it will come. It will go. And when it comes, it comes very thick, dark. It's, it's not ordinary. That will come. And when you, <laughs> when you cannot be straight again, what does that mean? You become a man. So we are praying against that, okay? You are free. My name is Hawa Heladi. I reside in Abuja here. Um, the man of God prophesied to me that um, he's, that I'm having this um, thick menstrual flu and he also prophesied that um, there is this painful um, my stomach used to pain me and that I do experience this movement in my stomach and I confirm that to be true because um, my menstruation normally comes out thick like in form of clothes and the stomach pain I also confirm that to be true because I normally have this serious stomach pain and I normally experience this movement in my stomach from time to time and because of um, this movement in my stomach um, 15th of March this year I had um, a miscarriage and that was the miscarriage um, came a day after I had this severe stomach um, pain and movement. I experienced this severe stomach pain and movement in my stomach. Yes. So I confirmed that to be 100% true. And the man of God also said that um, he seen, he seen me turning into a man that I should pray um, because he seen me turning into a man. And yes, I confirmed that to be 100% true. I'm fine now. I, I, I don't feel no more pains. I'm okay now. I feel very fine and I give God the glory because I know that I am healed and I'm delivered from whatever it is that is disturbing my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Thank you. Okay, ha, thank you. Let's listen to our testimony live. Elohim. My name is Hawa Heladi. The man standing next to me is my husband, and the man next to him is his elder brother. So I really want to thank God for the prophecy I received last week Sunday. Um, the man of God said that um, my menstruation, he's seen tick menstruation. And I really confirm that to be 100% true because whenever I'm on my period, I, it normally comes out in form of thick clot. And I confirm that to be 100% true. He also said that um, I do experience this painful um, stomach pain and um, I normally experience movement in my stomach and I also confirm that to be 100% true because I, there is this painful stomach pain that normally come and go and I also experience this movement in my stomach sometimes that sometimes I will feel as if it, there is a baby inside um, my womb. And this has seriously affected me because I normally, um, whenever this um, pain, stomach pain comes, it normally disturbs me a lot. And I really thank God for locating me. And he also 
said that um, if care is not taken, I might become a man. And um, there was something happened in March, March this year, um, 15th of March precisely. I had a miscarriage. And before the day I had a miscarriage, the, the day before I had um, that miscarriage, I had this um, pain, I experienced this painful stomach uh, pain and back pain. And it lasted for several hours that day. I remember I was bitterly complaining to my husband that he should please pray for me because of how painful the stomach and back pain was. So he did pray for me that night. The next day, I was totally fine in the morning. Then towards the evening, I felt like I want to go and pee. And when I went to the toilet, I felt something just came out. And when I checked, it was my babies. It was what? My babies that came out because actually they were two. You lost the pregnancy? Yes. Can you imagine? Write it down. If I were you, those of you that are here to tempt, to tempt, to tempt, I pity your career and your destiny. If I were you, write this day down. She's coming back with her pregnancy. Yeah. No, listen, listen. It's not issue of amen. Whether you say amen to it or not, it is decreed. I'm telling you what I'm not doubting in my heart. Right to this day, that monitor her face. Those of you doubting Thomas, go to their house. Perhaps you wait in the night when she she be with her husband. <laughs> Write it down. She will come here. Look at the face. Look at the face of the husband. She will come here with their baby. Amen. And record will remind you this. You are busy trying the spirit of God. <laughs> go ahead. You heard it? So. I never, have you ever, no, I don't even need to say that. It's your business. For the first time, I'm encountering them. Are you not surprised? Telling her deep things that happen in the house without being there with them. Is that not enough for you to be afraid of this God? Is that not enough for you to be afraid of this God? Not meeting her, telling her what is happening in the house. She confirmed it. Our God will have it for you to know that it is written that every problem in that family is over. The whole family member received prophecy. Same day. On the same line. Huh? What is it? <laughs> Go ahead. You don't need to cry. For your case, every disappointment is a blessing. Yeah. Go and write it down. That happened to give you a mother of blessing. Let's watch and see how it will run. Look at the face very well. You will join her to share her testimony here, 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 here. Yeah. Unless it's not God that revealed. Unless somebody came to tell me, sorry, sir, there's a woman here. She, they are in the family, they are in the same room. The wife is putting on shine shine. The husband is, is this. When they, they, are, they are in the same room. This is the problem of the husband, this is the problem of the wife, this is the problem of the brother, the problem of the elder brother. That is when you can play your game and go through with it. But if it's from, directly from Celestia Corridor that this message came heart to heart, you can't change this message. She is coming back with her pregnancy. Amen. Uh -huh. Go ahead. So, um, when I looked in the toilet and I saw them, I, I started crying and I called my husband and he came and took me to the hospital. When we went to the hospital, the doctor was like, is there any stomach pain? I told him no. He said, are you bleeding? I said, not really. I was not really, I was not bleeding like that, like that. So they were kind of surprised. Uh -uh. I think when people have miscarriage, um, they do go through this um, painful stomach pain and excessive bleeding and all that. But mine was totally different. In fact, when they sent me to go and do, they act, when they asked me to go and do scan, we went for the scan and when the guy checked, he was like, ah, ah, 
Madam, are you really sure you're pregnant? Because I'm not seeing anything inside your womb. Like, there is no any retained product of conception, no nothing. As in, they were so surprised. And thankfully, I snapped the, when everything came out, I snapped the picture on my phone. And when I now showed them, they were like, ah, ah, this is so. This is what? That <laughs> it's surprising that why am I not feeling stomach pain? Okay, they were expecting you to I... have signs of pregnancy at that stage. Yes. Signs but of thanks be to God that it happened that way for his glory to shine upon your life very soon. Okay? So don't worry, put it behind you. It was a very painful thing. The first time, a joyous time. The husband and wife, when they knew that the wife was pregnant, they were all celebrating. Before you knew it, phew, that was the desire of the devil. And this deliverance has returned what had been lost in a hundredfold. Amen. Congratulations, madam. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. How are you feeling now? After the deliverance? Uh, after the deliverance, I feel so happy. I feel light. And... I've not experienced any stomach pain, and that movement have checked back to her. Okay. Has she given you words of advice? Okay, please, advice. My words of advice to everyone is that if you are going through any challenge, or problem in life, you should look up to God. He's only is the only one that can deliver and help. Clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Okay, Alan, they have gotten the tape. Before we hear from our brother here, that brother, let's see. The situation of Job did not discourage Job from trusting. I speak to you. Pray against polygamy. Amen. It's a trend in your father's side. Yes, sir. And it's God that will rescue you from this. Amen. Let me put it that way. Amen. Okay? Amen. Please. And two, there is a business you are pursuing. You have been disappointed twice on it. But yes. I see breakthrough coming in September. Amen. This September. Congratulations. The situation of Job. Pray against pile. You know pile? Yes, sir. Pray against pile. Yes, sir. Each time you go to the toilet, you find it difficult to deliver. Yes, sir. And they give you chronic waist pain. Yes, sir. Pray against it, okay? It's a common trend in the male side. As I touch your heart, sir, your heart is crying for help. Eh? Yes, sir. Pray against hypertension. Thank you, sir. Your heart is crying for help. Yes, sir. Any little movement, you gasp for air. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Please, okay? Thank you, sir. Please. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, as a man, you, you play as a man, sometimes it doesn't play. Yes, sir. I'm talking about here. Yes, sir. You play so that he doesn't play. Yes, sir. So play, please, please, okay? Mm. Mission sure comes holistic. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And you use a pin here. Yes. So that you move as if there's a baby there. Yes, sir. I pray you will not be a man. I know I'm saying this. I pray you will not be a man. You are a woman. But what is coming now will make you a man. Give up. Of Jesus Christ. It will, it will come, it will go. And when it comes, it comes very thick, dark. It's, it's not ordinary. That will come. And when you, <laughs> when you cannot be straight again, what does that mean? You become a man. You 
become a man. What am I saying? <laughs> you become a man. So we are praying against that, okay? You are free. So these three faces, you saw them? Yes. To the glory of God. Let's hear from our father here. Have they played his own? Yes. Yes. Okay, can we see it? Uh, can we see our father here? As I touch your heart, sir, your heart is crying for help. Eh? Yes, sir. Pray against hypertension. Thank you, sir. Your heart is crying for help. Yes, sir. Any little movement, you gasp for air. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Please. Okay? Thank you, sir. Please. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, as a man, you, you play as a man, sometimes he doesn't play. Yes, sir. I'm talking about here. Yes, sir. You play, sometimes he doesn't play. Yes, sir. So, play, please, okay? Mm. My name is M.H. Haruna. I'm from Borno State. During the course of the service, you received a word of prophecy from the man of God. Please, what was the prophecy? Uh, he said, my heart is crying for help and I should pray against uh, hypertension. How can you confirm this to be true? 100% true. Because sometimes last month I was at Gerke Hospital. And uh, after running my vital checks, the doctor said that my heart pressure is growing high that I'm not yet uh, hypertensive but I need to watch it before it graduates to hypertension so currently I'm under a check and to report back to them on the 15th of this month with this word of prophecy you have received what do you believe God has brought to your life through this word of prophecy of course healing salvation that's what God is doing in this place so I want to believe that God is only coming to tell me that it has been taken away. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is uh, M. N. Mr. M. N. Haruna. Uh, last week, I was in the church service invited by my younger brother here and I happens to be on the prayer line so when the man of God came up to pray I received a prophecy and that prophecy said that my heart cries for help and that I should pray against hypertension I confirm that to be true because sometimes Last month, precisely on the fifth day of April, I was at Garki Hospital for a routine general test. And on that day, the doctor advised that I should check my blood pressure consistently for one month and then report back to him. Reason being that he discovered my blood pressure was high. Even though he said that it is not yet a hypertension, but I should keep the record, and then at the end of a month, I should come back to him for proper counseling. So I confirm that the testimony is true. There's no thing that is contrary to what he said. What Jesus said. Yes. Through me. Yes, sir. Glad for Jesus Christ. And because of time, after the deliverance, uh -huh, after the prayer. After the prayer, I went back. That was last week. And then I checked about two times and still confirmed that my blood pressure is normal. Clap for Jesus Christ. 
This is it. For you to know that it was decreed that the whole family will be free. From the younger brother to the wife to the elder brother and to who? My immediate elder brother. Could you remember what was the message of the immediate elder brother? What was the message? Uh, he said that uh, he should pray against the spirit of polygamy. And uh, that's true because my dad has two wives. Why I put the mic is that uh, it will be good the person should come and say it by himself. Because in our apostolic ministry, we don't go by hearsay. We believe in evidence. Because in this world, out of 12, there is Judas Iscariot. <laughs> I love that language. I will never forget your language. <laughs> that is it. No matter how good you, you tend to be, there must be people that will doubt you. So that's why whatever you are doing, evidence must follow. To the human level, not spiritual. Spiritual is too big for you. But to human level, what you can see with your eyes, you must see that evidence. That will now boost your faith to believe. Uh, that's, that's it. There must be evidence. That's what we work for. That's the instinct of apostolic ministry. Glory for Jesus Christ for that. So, sir, what word of advice do you have for everyone? Okay. My blood pressure was uh, 120 all over 80. Hallelujah. Glory for Jesus my... Christ. Glory for Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Finally, your advice to everyone yeah. listening? My advice to people all over the world watching is that they should have faith in God. And people should stop being judgmental. Mm. Because as Christians, the Bible says that we should judge not. Mm. Even though the Bible says that we should test every spirit. Mm. But in testing every spirit, it is not something that should be done with words that are unpleasant. Glad for Jesus Christ. <laughs> in finding out the truth that will set you free, be careful so that you not provoke the Spirit of God. That's what he's trying to say. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you as a family. Thank you very much, evangelist. <laughs> thank you, my sister. God bless you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh -huh.